Uh, hi, how are y'all doing today? Welcome to another beautiful day out here at South Texas here at Wackadoo Acres and welcome to the Wackadoo Farmer. If you've never been to our channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you really, really like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, we'll holler at you in just a minute. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. How are y'all this morning? Sunday, got a few projects happening out here at Wagadoo and continued projects that we've been working on. Uh, got a few things happening. Just got through feeding the animals. Uh, all the grass that I cut on Friday and yesterday, that grass, man, I'm telling you, it took us almost two days to get it just how we wanted it. Uh, Man, it was long. It was long. Lots of grass. So I got a bunch of grass that we gathered up and we raked up. I'm going to give them to the goats. I'll show you the grass that I got in this little uh, cart that I got. This is some of the grass that I've gathered. All the cutting dried up a little bit. It's almost like, hey, shoot, I could have bailed it. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and dump this in with our goats. Let them enjoy it. So, anyway, that's what I got happening. I was looking here. I think I may have a low tire on my golf cart. I'm going to have to probably put the air on it. Give me a little more air in it because I'm going to be using this thing. It's a well-used golf cart. But it works. It does what we need it to do out here. Get this uh, cart put in here. Eee, look at this. Goats are going to love it. They're going to love this. I tell you that. Get my little chain open to my gate. So cart through the gate. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Going to close it. Don't want the goats to get out dummy locked they think it's locked Woo here you go all right got some goodies for you I'm actually gonna come over here in the shade that way they got a place to uh, eat it and be cool Here's all them lovely fellas and ladies. All right, like fresh hay, fresh hay. Gotta get all this out of here. There we go. Like I said, we got quite a few projects happening this morning, this Sunday morning. Uh, I've been feeding the animals, getting uh, the animals all good and happy. 
And Trisha's got, uh, she is working on still that project with a butler's pantry. She is doing some, um, she's doing some staining. Anyhow, she is staining some of the shelving that we still have left to put up in the butler's pantry. So while she's doing that, uh, I have to work on our electric fence that goes around where our fruit trees were. Uh, Walker, our Texas Longhorn out here, decided he's hungry for fruit trees, so he went after them. I'm gonna have to redo the electric fence around it. I gotta clean up the whole area around that electric fence, especially all the cuttings from our yard that we were cutting the other day and had a lot of pile up of grass underneath it. So I have to make sure it's clean, make sure it's clear, so that way there's no uh, grounding of the electric wire around, or that electric fence that goes around the yard and around those fruit trees. Yep, in order for me to be able to extend this electric fence that you see right here, actually goes around the yard. You see where the freshly cut grass is. That is where my electric fence is bordered, right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this fence from this post right here to this fence post and then down this fence line if you can see this fence line here I have we set that's in the way so I'm gonna use my tractor my Kubota tractor which has been a really good tractor out here on the place uh, 25 horse Kubota tractor I got from sheer Kubota uh, here, uh, lo our local, our local Kubota dealers, and anyhow, I have this we satch here to get rid of. Again, tough tree uh, here in South Texas, and how I'm going to do this is, people may do this differently, but this is the way I do it. I got my bucket on my tractor, and I scoop it up right at the roots and I pull it right out of the ground and then I'll reinforce it with uh, some uh, Remedy weed killer mixed with a diesel or a cooking oil so I got this one to get rid of while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a few more of these weed satch trees uh, that are right here uh, around this fence line make it a little bit neater and that's what I'm working on all right
Not a bad job, I don't think. Check it out. Boy, that we sat to some tough stuff. No match for that Kubota tractor, though. Yeah, and another thing, don't forget, stay hydrated, especially on these very hot days. Today is probably close to, uh, I'd say, 90 degrees, 100% humidity. I got to get me some water, something to drink. Got to stay hydrated. when you're spraying or you're applying this uh, weed killer or this remedy to these stumps what you want to make sure of is that you get good coverage on that stump this wide open space here that means it's going to get more contact area to soak in this killer this weed killer so I'm going to spray it around on the top that ought to be just enough that way it'll soak in and this will go away we should not have any more we satch trees right here yeah one thing you want to remember when you're working on an electric fence make sure you turn that darn thing off the power i'm telling you it'll give you a hell of a bite so i got my little controller here i'm gonna turn it off make sure it's safe all right showing off here but i ain't touching it i got a little uh gadget that I can use to see if uh, I have any charge on this electric fence and I'm going to show you it here in just a minute this is the gadget I was talking about this is a voltage tester pretty cheap wasn't that bad got it at my local tractor supply this little sucker here tell me if that fence is hot or not because I ain't touching it I can tell you that right now anyway how it works is it's got a little ground um, prong here what you'll do is you'll stick that into the ground below the fence and you'll stick this part on the fence now it's rated on here my fence is rated for 7,000 volts this tester goes from 600 volts to 7,000 if it's hot these lights will light up to 7,000 if it's not that means it's safe to work on so we're gonna try it out all right so what you'll do you get this prong you're gonna stick it into the ground just like that then you'll take this part put it on the wire and if it doesn't show any blinking on it that means that this wire is safe to work on if it was hot you would see the lights light up all the way up to the 7000 mark so we are very safe to work on this on this fence now i can touch it i can work with it i can pull this wire around we're good to go so let me show you this is what this is what i got going on so my existing fence was right here as you can see the post all the way down that was my existing electric fence so what i did I have my fruit trees in here, which the cows got a hold of, and we do have some growth coming back, so we're we're happy about that. But uh, anyhow, so the fence that was on this line is now going to be extended out to here, to this line. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling off the old wire that was around the existing fence, stretching it around the new the new portion of the fence and then back around. I'm also gonna be bringing 
these posts out, putting new T-posts in. Got these plastic looking things here. I'm not really big on those. They, they don't last long, they get brittle. They, uh, just with the weather, they kind of get, they'll start cracking. Like, if you look at these, they're, they're flimsy. And also these little pieces here will start to break. As you can see right here, this one's broke off. So I wouldn't even use those. Unless you're putting up some little temporary thing you're gonna take down, put up, take down. So I'm gonna replace them with new T-posts, bring it out a little bit. And that way I have a little bit more room when I'm mowing around these crepe myrtles with that, uh, with my mower. I can make a circle around. I don't have to worry about hitting the electric fence. But I don't want to hit that. I can tell you that right now. So there's where we're at. So I'm pulling all this old wire, putting in new insulators on the T post, and we're going to get some power to this new electric fence. Well, all right, we are double tasking out here. Got Trish over there standing those shelves for our butler's pantry. Say hi, Trish. All right, awesome. So we're getting some stuff done today. She's working on those shelves, staining those, and I'm getting this electric fence finished up. I'm getting close to being done. Woo, it's been a long day, but I think I got it. Got this electric fence project knocked out. About to hit the power on it, see if we get any uh, voltage down at the end of this electric fence. I think I popped it back on. As you can see, it's got a little pop on it. As you can see, that's an indication that there is power to this electric fence. So I'm going to go down and use this tester. Test it out, see if it's hot down here at the end of this electric fence, which is over here. I put a little gate, that way we can get in and out of our yard with the golf cart, with our little pull behind cart that we use all the time out here, and our lawn mowers and whatever else we need to get uh, into the yard. <sighs> Moment of truth see what we got it's hot you can barely see it you see a little light on there it pops so it is good to go all right the line tested hot it's gonna be a-OK, -okay, I believe. So what I got left to do, I'm going to have to get around this old, where the old fence was. There's a little grass that's still built up around there. So I'm just going to have to go through and mow where this old fence line was. If you can see it. Oh yeah, definitely can see that. That is the old fence line, and we're going to blend it in with the rest of the yard so that is where the new fence is and we have completed this job Whew! about time well that's a wrap i appreciate you guys coming along and and uh watching and maybe learning something again if you've never seen this before you've never been to our channel before and you like what you see go ahead and hit that like button right there and if you really really like it Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, you guys have a fantastic day. All right, we'll see y'all later. Ooh, it was hot. But there ain't no better way to cool off after a long work day out in the South Texas heat is jumping in this pool. And that's just what I'm about to do. Yeah. God bless America. Woohoo! Oh yeah!